So I wanted to make a quick video about how easy it is to add boost retard. If you have a turbocharger or supercharger, you need to retard your timing when you enter boost, and it's super easy to do that. On our timing table, mm -hmm. the top row is wide open throttle. We need to add a boost row above that. So let's add a row at 10 PSI of boost with a timing retard of mm -hmm. one degree per PSI of boost. It's easy. The boost chart in our tuning guide says that 10 PSI is 170 kPa. Mm -hmm. So we make the top row 170. Next, we take the whole top row and retard it by 10 degrees. Now we take the next row down and make that 101, which is wide open throttle naturally aspirated. This will give us 10 degrees of retard between wide open throttle naturally aspirated and 10 PSI of boost. Now we save the table and we call it boost test. I've got an air compressor hooked to our map sensor port and a boost gauge. We're at 3000 RPM and wide open throttle. Let's add the boost. You can see the bubble is now rising towards the top row. Ignition timing is retarding by one degree per PSI. We're now in the middle of the top row. We're at 10 PSI. As boost declines, you can see timing starts to advance again. One degree per PSI. Let's do this test again using the gauges screen so we can really see what's going on with the numbers. You can see PSI is rising. Timing is retarding by one degree per PSI. There we go. 10 PSI, 10 degrees of retard, coming back down. And now we're back to wide open throttle. This is a simple example, and you can always add more boost rows to the table if you want more tunability. Thanks for watching.